Hello, good morning and welcome back to the Football Terrace. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Tottenham Hotspur, many media reports coming from France, Italy and of course now the UK are suggesting, reporting and telling us that it is a done deal. Personal terms agreed. Fees pretty much agreed between Leon and Tottenham Hotspur Football Club for the signing of one of the most sought after, most well coveted holding midfielders in world football in uh, Tangaya Undombele. And look, let me drop my own bias for a moment. Let me drop my own personal feelings as a Manchester United fan. Let me look at this from a Spurs point of view. What an amazing piece of business if Levy pulls this off. The improvement in my opinion, to Tottenham Hotspur's midfield area in an instant is brilliant. Straight away, Tottenham Hotspur improve as a football club. No doubt about it. It also sends out a great message. And aside from, aside from the quality, the potential and the excellence around this young player, the bit that stands out above all of it is the message the message that this signing sends to the rest of that squad. We know that Toby will probably leave. We know that Ericsson's looking to move on. So it's important that the club respond and say, hang on, we were Champions League finalists. We've been in the top four regularly. We've already got a brilliant squad. We're on the edge of being a great team. This is a statement that we are, we're not just going to let some of our good players leave and then fizzle away back to mid-table obscurity. We are here, we want to be a big team. We want our stadium to represent the way we play on the pitch and in turn the achievements that we make. And I think it's a brilliant statement from Tottenham as a football club that we are not going to go backwards, we're not going to go off into the night quietly and we're going to continue to push forward and try and develop. It will be a record signing and the fees range from 55 to 62 million pounds, which is a colossal amount of money. But it's what you spend to sign the best players and best potential young players on the planet. And that's what you're getting with Tangai and Dombele. There is no doubt that this lad is brilliant. Man United have looked at him. Manchester City have looked at him. But it appears that Tottenham Hotspur are getting it done. And before we jump into your live comments and start to interact regarding this, the one another thing about it as well that really um, stands out to me is I saw this on Twitter last night. The amount of Arsenal fans playing down the quality of Ndombele. Who is he? He's a nobody. Done it in a farmer's league. Unproven. Ha ha ha. He's only made a four appearances for France. Look how many goals. Look how many goals. That was the best one. Someone tweeted out, look at these stats. You're 60 odd million for these stats. I was dying. Dying with laughter. It was brilliant. It's great to see the anger. And that's where fan channels fanzines, dedicated like Twitter accounts and supporters collectively. That's where those I, those echo chambers, I laugh at them and they trouble me at the same time to the extent of how can you denounce and ignore uh, and play down the quality of an individual just because they join a rival? Maybe that's what you're meant to do. Maybe that's the process. I don't know. But from my perspective, I just thought it's laughable. Like... I get you're not happy that Spurs have signed him. I get you want him to flop. But to play down his quality is one thing. To play down his potential is another. It's a wonderful piece of business by Tottenham. It appears to me, by the, the, the validity of where these reports are coming from, that the, 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 the standard of journalists that's reporting on this, that has broken this news, uh, it says to me, and I truly believe that, um, honestly, I do think, that uh, Spurs will get this done. There's no doubt about it. Uh, quite a few fans on here, uh, people watching and tuning in, have just said um, the, the same thing that I've seen out there in the, in, in the spectrum as well is a lot of Arsenal fans appear jealous and angry about this. And that's the thing. I, I, I get you being angry that your club isn't doing it, but to throw salt at Tottenham when they've signed a really good player, it just makes you look and sound and come across as pathetic. So if you like being pathetic... Then do it. 
comment here actually from uh, Lee who says Spurs mean business. That's it. They do. They do mean business. You can't. You cannot deny that. They mean business. They're doing business. And they're getting it over the line. And the, the big clubs will do that. I, 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 think that, I think what is good, though, for everybody is that it feels like the top six sides, one or two deals need to happen and hopefully it will kickstart everything. And remember, whether you're a United fan, Arsenal, Chelsea, you can't all sign everybody. So, so some of your rivals are going to sign good players as well. And as fans, we also need to... Hindsight's going to... It's always a lucrative thought process, but... You're a Man United fan. I want Undumbele. That's it. He's my number one choice for midfield. Great. He's yours, but maybe he's not Ollie's. Maybe if you're a Liverpool fan, he's not Klopp's. Maybe if you're an Arsenal fan, he's not Unai Emery's. Now, this, the other side of that is maybe Undumbele doesn't want to join your football club. So it isn't even about United or Liverpool or Arsenal being able to sign the player. It's purely a, a personal preference for that individual. So at the end of the day, it's not a reflection on you. Um, your management or your ownership. So there's a couple of reasons why your club might not go in for them, might not look at them, uh, might not try and buy them. That's that's why I don't. That's why I kind of hold back on the salt because no, there is no need to throw it. Is he better than Fabino? I mean, the questions like that uh, are one actually impossible to answer at this stage because they haven't played. There, there are different stages in their career. This will be his first year in the Premier League. But this give Ndombele two or three seasons in the Premier League to mature a bit as a player. And then we'll do the comparison. It's as simple as that. To do it after, before he's even signed for Spurs. To do it um, before he's had a chance to settle. Before he's at the same age that we see Fabinho at now. It's a very difficult thing to do. But he certainly has the potential to be as good uh, maybe even better. And, and everyone knows I think Fabinho is a top-class player. Uh, Michael here is a Liverpool fan here. By far, Terry, you have one of the best football channels on this platform. Always honest, never biased and never salty. Michael, I appreciate you saying that, my friend. Thank you. Um, <laughs> United fan here says, uh, laughing my ass off. And we're sitting here getting linked to Longstaff. We are effed. Listen, from a Man United fan perspective, okay, that, 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 that's a fair point. I, I would say that Ndombele is more talented than Longstaff. But what if United have made inquiries and Ndombele doesn't want to start a play for us? We have to go after somebody else. And like I've said to many people, that this rebuild under Oli, we don't even know if it's going to catch fire because uh, and, and take off because... I'm not sure of the competency of the of the board. I'm not sure of the competency of Woodward to get these deals over the line in a timely manner. I still don't trust that the board and the owners will do as the management and the, the, the scouting systems are suggesting. I do not believe there'll be that synergy between both areas of the organisation and club. So it, it, it's, it's frustrating. And, but the... The rebuild is going to take time and there will be players out there, De Ligt and Dombele, real top, top talented youngsters from around the world that will think twice about joining until Man United can prove that, that this is a club where they will flourish, where they will achieve, where they'll be respected. And part of that also comes down to how the fans behave also. It's as simple as that. You, 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 can't, you, can't, you can't argue with that, in my opinion. Terry, it's not about quality players. It's about having a system as well we want to play. Yeah, listen, I get that, and and like I said, that's that's also a fair reflection because I think this next twelve months is imperative for, for teams like Man United and Arsenal because if the management can show, look, we are moving forward, we are progressing, the style's better, that in itself will attract people maybe in twelve months' time. But like I've been saying all along, you have to have to be patient in this process. To panic and to worry and to scream and to cry isn't going to help anybody. However, if you're addressing, like in my view, I think Arsenal fans going after Conky, I think Man United fans going after Woodward and the board is right. Because at the moment, we don't have faith that the boards, that the owners, the money men, decision makers, the hierarchy are going to get things done so the management can actually improve things. So I'm not, I don't focus on so much what the managers are doing. They are a focus, but they're not for me 
it, 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 the, the, the main problems within this. If you look at the best teams in the Premier League over the last few years, both what they've done domestically and in Europe, City, Liverpool, Tottenham, run brilliantly off the field and that manifests itself on the pitch. There is no, um, for me, the reason they've grown to the levels they have done in the last few years, uh, it's how they run. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that for me. Let's do a few more of your comments here. Despite Ndombele and Clark, will Spurs be able to sign Max Ahrens and the Celso this summer? Their weakness uh, of fullbacks is obvious. Yeah, but I think they will be able to get that. I think Spurs will make at least three or four signings this summer. One for the new stadium, of course, big money coming in from you know their Champions League success last year, and it was success for a club of their size to get through to a final. Of course, they've got guaranteed Champions League football this year. They've got a new big stadium to, to start to, to fill, and, and they will make big signings. And I think they will look to improve their squad, and they'll get it done. And but Spurs will do it slowly still, and. It will be okay. We need to fill five positions. They may not do that all in one summer. It might take a couple of years to do. Uh, it's how they've done business recently, and they'll keep progressing and moving forward. It's sim it, it's it, it's as clear as day to me. Terry, could Aaron Wan Bissaka sign today? I hope so. <laughs> I do. Terry, we can't rebuild if we are truly honest. Unlike the Glazers and Woodward, sorry, I'm. Unless the Glazers and Wood would stop financially killing United because they have no clue. I kind of just alluded to that, so I understand your point there. Clayton here says United need to sell Lukaku and get a decent and get anything decent other than AWB. Um, a lot of people here talking about man, it's crazy, isn't it? How big news for Tottenham generates a lot of live chat from uh, from. Man United fans, MMA News says, is Ndombele better than Fred? Well, Fred had a very poor first season in the Premier League. Nobody would deny that. He's actually a player that I'm excited to watch in pre-season and to watch next year um, in the Premier League because I want to see if he can turn it around. We, we, we know there's talent there. If you go back to what he's done in the Schalke shirt, Sorry, not Shaka, uh, Shakhtar the next. If you go and watch what he's done there, if you watch what he has done uh, in a Brazilian shirt at times, there's a touch, there's movement, there's passing, there's ability, there's goal scoring at times. It's there. It's about him being able to unlock it. And I'm hoping that a nice and good solid pre-season, a lot of positivity can do that. Because it will feel, and this is all clubs have gone through this at times, when you sign someone who doesn't really get off the, you know, doesn't start well, a bit flat-footed, poor performances, if they can turn it round, it feels like a new signing in many ways. But Ndombele has, back to your question, has the ability, without a doubt, to become a better player than Fred in the Premier League. Ndombele has the ability, when you read, when you watch him play, you see it. When you read the scouting reports, the in-depth analysis on this player, you see and read and you feel about an individual that has the ability to go on to the absolute pinnacle of the game, the highest tier one level of a player in his position. Now that's ability. He needs to he needs to fulfill that. He needs to develop, stay hungry, keep learning, keep improving his game. But I think Tottenham and Pochettino are definitely a, a suitable hunting ground for a player. The atmosphere and the, 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 the morality and the ethics of the club now uh, are conducive. They create a a brilliant atmosphere for people to develop, to express themselves, to play with freedom. And that's so, so important. It really, really is. Let's do one more of your live comments here. Let's try and pick a decent one. Let's try and pick a decent one. Uh, we, we won't talk Man United in any of these. We're trying to get, trying to get Spurs one here. Um, Let's try and find one. I can't find anything that's Spurs related. Okay, this is this is connected to it, so we'll do this one. The only reason Arsenal fans are mad is because we are re we're in the rebuilding process because of the mess that was left behind and all these promises made um, have not been fulfilled. Oh, listen, I understand why Arsenal are angry about this signing that Spurs are going to make. 
but take your anger out in your own club. Take your anger out on, the, the, like, throwing your anger and your salt and your aggression. And actually, there's one, th as I say, there's one thing hoping that he flops, and there's another thing playing down the qualities of Ndombele. That, for me, just embarrasses your fan base further. It embarrasses Arsenal fans. It, it makes you appear uneducated on football and stupid. It really, really does. And I think that some of the people I quote tweeted last night about it, I, I just, I kind of looked at it and I read it and just felt like, you know, why would you even come out with something as, as, as ludicrous as this? But look, do me a massive favour, please, everybody. Hit that like button. Hit that share button as well. And also, if you fancy coming to give me a bit of a follow on Twitter or Instagram, the links to my channels are in the description below. I will be back later on today with some other content. Very busy day ahead for me, though. Uh, numerous meetings. A uh, real exciting one this evening as well regarding the YouTube channel. So I'm looking forward to that. Take care of yourselves. God bless. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.